Hello friends, concrete is made up of mixing cement, sand, aggregate, admixtures and water. The strength, workability and durability of concrete depends on mixing proportions of its ingredients. Normally there are two types of methods which are used for proportioning different ingredients. One is nominal mix and second is design mix of concrete. Selection of type of concrete mix depends on requirement of strength and nature of work. So in this video we will discuss the differences between nominal mix and design mix of concrete. So let us start. Concept The nominal mix is the process in which all the ingredients are prescribed as per specifications and their proportions are specified in the ratio of cement to aggregates for the certain strength achievement. The proportions of ingredients in nominal mix are same for all the projects. To simplify this statement, let us take an example of M20 grade concrete. Its nominal mix proportion is 1 as to 1.5 is to 3. It means we have to weigh them to 1 kg of cement, 1.5 kg of fine aggregate that is sand and 3 kg of coarse aggregates. But we normally take them on volume basis and multiply them with 1.55 constant to get the bulk volume of the material. So to conclude this, we can say nominal mix generally contains volumetric batching. On the other hand, concrete shall be called design mix concrete when the proportion of its ingredients are decided after trial and error of various options in the laboratory. After carrying out tests on individual ingredients with the object of producing concrete of certain minimum strength and durability as economically as possible. The proportions of ingredients in design mix differs from project to project. For example, this is the mix design for M40 grade concrete. Here you can see the quantity of cement, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and water is constant. But the quantity of fly ash and these two admixtures has changed in each proportion. Please note it is not necessary that the quantity of cement, sand, aggregate and water should be constant. It can change in each mix. I am showing this picture just for your reference. So accordingly the strength of concrete cube in 7 days, 14 days and 28 days changes. Other concrete properties like durability, workability, surface finish etc also change. So as per strength and project requirements, the correct design mix shall be selected. Also you can see here, all the ingredients are on weight basis. Mixing Nominal mix is site level mixing. A small concrete mixer can be used to mix the ingredients. Whereas design mix are designed from ready mix concrete plant that is RMC plant. Tests For nominal mix, no laboratory tests are conducted. Whereas design mix is based on laboratory trial and error experiment method. Attributes of ingredients Nominal mix does not consider and check specific properties of individual ingredients that is the properties of cement, sand and aggregates. In nominal mix, we don't actually find the specific gravity of cement, silt content of sand and weight proportions etc. Whereas in case of design mix, we need to check every property of ingredients and after that the mix design shall be started. Properties of ingredients such as in case of cement, cement grade, consistency, initial setting time, final setting time, specific gravity etc. In case of sand and aggregates, density, bulking of sand, specific gravity, grading of aggregate, fineness modulus, particle size, silt content, water absorption, unit weight etc. Based on above properties of ingredients, we will establish the mix design according to our needs and then check them with trial mix. Once the trial mix has been tested and passed on 7th and 28th days for compressive strength, then it will be approved for batching and execution at site level. Time Nominal mix is easy to make at construction site. It does not take more time to decide the proportion because proportions are already given in IS-456. Whereas design mix is very difficult and its process takes more than 30 days time to find out the most suitable mix for the project. For design mix, IS-20262 shall be followed. Skilled persons 
for nominal mix there is no need of skilled persons whereas for design mix skilled person shall be required to prepare the mix design basis nominal mix is based on past experience and have no scientific approach whereas design mix is more scientific than the nominal mix strength nominal mix may or may not give exactly design strength unless all other factors like compaction water cement ratio curing of concrete are strictly followed whereas design mix not only makes concrete of designed strength but also makes it economical too accuracy in case of nominal mix water cement ratio is considered by assumption so if we do not take care of it sometimes it leads to bleeding segregation and may make concrete of poor strength and durability whereas in case of design mix there is no such problem slump and strength can be related that is for strength we can use different slump by changing water cement ratio with or without admixtures so as to suit concreting of different elements that is for footing it may have less slump that is less water cement ratio but for thin elements like chhajja or thin walls it may need a larger slump that is higher water cement ratio or more quantity of admixtures this is not possible in the nominal mix use the nominal mix is preferred for simpler relatively unimportant and small concrete works in other words the nominal mix is adopted for ordinary concrete work nominal mix may be used for concrete of m20 grade or lower grade whereas design mix is used for more extensive and important concrete works design mix can be used for all the grades but it is generally used for m25 and above grades so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching